I said, Lord, what's going on here? And he gave me the strangest answer. He said, uh, get the woman I gave you involved. This is what I've used forever for cuts and scrapes and so forth to help them heal and you know keep the infection down. But as you can see, and from what I found out about the product, they're pretty serious about this uh, exploration date. So uh, let me share what happened here with you. Well, I thought I'd share this with y'all because I've been this been heavy on my mind. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. <clears throat> Last Wednesday, um, April the 7th, uh, I had a serious event on my John Deere 4020 tractor. I snagged a big rock and the tractor reared up and it all happened incredibly fast. In fact, I recorded a little piece in the video and put it up in the last video I put up on my channel and I was I was going to stand there and describe what happened and I started to talk about it and then abruptly I just said I don't know what all happened uh, and you, you know I've looked at that that video the tractor reared up and uh, I don't know exactly what all did happen it happened real fast uh, I'm still alive uh, and said, yeah, you just abruptly, your thought went from you were going to describe what happened to I don't know what happened. <clears throat> so it's just been really heavy on my mind. Uh, I'll read something to you out of the Old Testament here. It's in the Psalms. Psalms 91 starts verse 9. It says, Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Okay, it just kind of hit me that that's talking about protection. Uh, you you trust God, you believe God, which is way past just believing in God, and He protects you. And I'm come to the realization now that's what happened as this has unfolded, because I did get injured, and it's the strangest kind of injury. Uh, put the vision in your mind of a, a cowboy rodeo cowboy riding a bucking bull and you see his legs flying all up in the air before the bull throws him off or he gets smart enough to jump off well that tractor did that real sudden rear up my legs must have flown abruptly quickly up into the air so let me show you the injury i got and then we'll talk about why I showed you that Neosporin ointment. All right, what you're looking at is about midway of my shin, uh, right there. And that happened uh, Wednesday on the 7th, and I'm making this video Sunday night on the 11th. And I didn't realize I was hurt until I actually came in the house after I put up the tractor for the night and went to get a shower and took my clothes off and saw the blood and the blood in my blue jeans and i said oh well so uh anyhow while we're looking at this because i'm gonna get the camera off of it but you see the redness all down in here because i'm gonna get back to the point about the neosporin ointment so i got my shower and got all cleaned up and uh went and got that neosporin ointment out that I was showing you right here, um, that, yeah, that, and uh, put this all over it, 
put me a, one of those real nice uh, no stick galls on it and wrapped it up and thinking, okay, that's done, it'll, it'll heal up. Okay, it won't do a no healing. And yesterday, when I came home from work on the 10th, which was like three days after the event, my leg had turned red a lot worse than what I just showed you, was swollen up and it was hurting really, really bad. And uh, I said, Lord, what's going on here? And he gave me the strangest answer. He said, uh, get the woman I gave you involved. In other words, go talk to your wife. And I said, okay. So I said, hey, come here and look at what I've done to myself and uh, what's going on here. And it's not healing up and it looks like this now and it hurts. And she said, you put Neosporin on it? And I said, yeah. She went where, she knows where I keep this. She went and got it. And she's the one that turned it around here and looked at it and kind of laughed and said, well, you know, this is two years out of date. <laughs> Actually, about two years out of month. And I took it and said, what do you mean? And I looked at it and said, oh, well, she had a little tiny tube not anticipating she was going to need a whole lot of it and her little tiny tube was still in date and this is good stuff because we put it on there last night out of her little tiny tube that was still not expired and drastic improvement today uh over this but uh i kind of laughed after i sat there for a couple of hours and some of that heat and swelling uh from something that's in infected kind of went out of it and I looked at my wife and I said, well, I guess if I'm going to keep on buying these large size tubes, I need to get hurt more often, which I really don't like that option. So I think I'll um, pick up a little small tube like you got tomorrow on the way home. She laughed. I laughed. Thought some more about this today because that scripture had popped in my mind, in and out of my mind. And I just pulled it up so I could actually read it to you. And you know, that's one of the very scriptures that Satan, the liar, the thief, the criminal, tempted Jesus with. But because Jesus knows the word of his father and believes his father, he had the power in him to rebuke Satan. You know, if you'll believe God, which, like I said, that's a step way past just believing in God. You'll have that very power within you to rebuke Satan and the evil of this world. Well, just wanted to share that with y'all. Those of you out there farming, driving tractors, be careful. You can get hurt. God bless each and every one of you. Bye, y'all.